Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're going to be going to uh, meet the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, uh, continuing the main story quest line. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Let's pick up my Mori. So you want no more then, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise. I swear if I painted certain death on one door and limitless wealth on another, Nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of being ruled down. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these scions of the Seventh Dawn, you can. They're good people who made, who've made it their mission to solve some of Yosia's most pressing problems. Of course, they ain't no small task and so they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, Elric. Now I've been given leave to tell you where to find the scions, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something Eosia's enemies would very much like to know. The Scions are headquartered in Vesper Bay, out in Western Fanalan. The place you're looking for is called the Waking Scions. Give your name to whoever's at the entrance and you'll be let in. You're a man in demand, Elric, and the days ahead promise to be busy. But I hope you won't forget about them as help make you into the adventure you are. Drop in and tell them how you're faring from time to time you here. Right, well, I've said my piece. Off you go. Okie dokie. So where uh, Western Fanalan it is. Um, I don't think we have access to the uh, teleportation crystal for that region yet, so it's probably going to be a long walk. Um, just going to quickly check if I am attuned to this uh, crystal, which we weren't last time, as we're going to need that for the return trip. We'll go and grab that, and then we'll head out to uh, Western Fanland, and we'll meet you guys there, and I'll probably cut this bit out. Right, and here we are in Vespa Bay, just about to go through the gate there. Main entrance, so uh, you're looking to your right here. And it's this little building on the corner, if I remember correctly. So we'll just uh, get a little bit of a sprint going on. And I believe we have to speak with uh, Tataru, I think her name is, to gain entrance. In the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. La 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 la. <laughs> okay. Wah! <coughs> Bit of a manly cough there, but never mind. <laughs> I would thank you not to sneak up on me like that. Now, please be advised that this is private property. Unless you have pertinent business here, I must ask you to. Get the behest of Yidra and Papalimo. My sincerest apologies. May I please have your name? Elric. Elric Fandrell. Ah, yeah, you are. Ahem. I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands, headquarters of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru, and I look forward to assisting you dur during your time with us. The antecedent is within the solar. I shall let her know to expect you. Okie dokie. Uh, so now we just go down here, I believe, and straight inside. And just straight ahead again. Speak with this uh, guard here. I take your Elric Fandrel. Tataru sent word that you had arrived. Lady Menphilia has eagerly awaited your coming. This way, if you please. Um, let's see, that's the only thing we can take, is it any better than what we've got? Um, oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong side. Uh, I don't, yeah, it's not that great, it's actually worse than what we've got, never mind. I'll just take the cash, thanks, and uh, rate Vespa Bay Etherate tickets. About to redeemable by signs of the Seventh Dawn for instant. Oh, so I uh, can teleport straight back here for free, I guess, with those. That's handy. <laughs> So you're the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Well met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here.
No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea, nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Uh, yeah, multiple times in fact, actually. <laughs> have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space? A mind without a body? Yep, check on that one as well. All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. So is that a bit like uh, the Amazon devices uh, where you can change your name to Echo? <laughs> the Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power, and this power is strong within you. Apart from, let me see, uh, Memories of the Past, it's also uh, the equivalent of the Universal Translator from Star Trek, then. <laughs> It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and at a word from me, they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. Papers you request, my lady. Thank you, Tataru. Pleasure's mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to consult a retainer advocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement, but believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavours. Let this gesture serve as evidence of your commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us to the fullest extent of your talents. 
A mutually beneficial relationship, I am sure you will agree, and one which serves the greater good besides. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know our purpose and what we can offer you, I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. In good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password, which our members use to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. Taking a bit of risk there, aren't you? Give me the password before I've even agreed to join them. <laughs> I'll bring a retainer. Uh, helpful NPCs who can be hired by players to carry out such tasks as storing excess skill and gear or selling unwanted items on the market. Uh, may be sent to field on ventures. Uh, by Fridwib in Limsala Minsa Parallel in Gridania, Chabi in Ulda, Prunilla in Ishgard, or Kazashi in Kugane. I'm not sure why Kugane is, I think that's the Shadowbringers expansion, I'm not too sure. Players can hire no more than 8 retainers at once, okay, I'm pretty certain that's changed because I seem to recall that you could get uh, a maximum of 3. Now we can get 8? That's, um... A little bit confusing. Okay, never mind. Basically, it just uh, ends up being bank storage, and obviously, as I said, uh, that was it to sell stuff on the marketplaces, which is the equivalent of the auction house from uh, World of Warcraft. Right. We Scions have but one objective to safeguard the future of Eosia. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eosia. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer, Elric. Um, Yours is no small endeavour. Small? No. Worthy? Undeniably. We labour for the good of all the realm. Uh, right. Okay, so I guess that was the wrong option. I didn't think there was a wrong option that you could pick here, but never mind. I will go with the Wild Rose Blues. Billy is waiting here, whether or not you will pledge your support at the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Uh, I wonder if that's actually an upgrade for me or not. Uh, yeah, it is a tiny bit of an upgrade. Right, never mind. Not that we were going to uh, refuse the quest. <laughs> I take it you will help us. Wonderful! I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlianne ring any bells? It does, yes, because I've watched a few YouTube videos about them, but uh, from my character's perspective, uh, I don't think so. It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garleans knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Hello there! Her voice is so grating on me. <laughs> Welcome! I had every confidence that you would agree to help us. Me too. <laughs> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Wait, so it's Yishtola rather than Ishtola, which I've been saying all along. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> Greetings. Last but not least is Orianger, 
who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Okay, uh, apparently I was mistaken. I wasn't constantly calling her Yishtola. I'm calling Yida, Yida. So it's Yida and Yishtola, two uh, names begin with Y. Never mind, and uh, if I recall correctly, this guy, Urian uh is always very wordy, so I'm uh, looking forward to having a lot of troubles with um, reading his dialogue. <laughs> Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartineau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent and together establish the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shantytown outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amosia, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. Bit of an odd way of pronouncing uh, worshippers, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's worshippers, not worshippers, like the way that he said it. Oh, well, <laughs> if we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow. Right, uh, where are you going? There you are. <clears throat> Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on their caravan, our friends at Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern have doubled their security over all their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgement that the abductions should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see that he gives us his full cooperation. Okay, I can do that. Um, need to leave here first. And I'm not sure if we have any uh, etherite crystals in the region to get there more easily. Let's have a look. Uh, Fanlan. Fanlan. And. 
Machine can't drive on, not electro station. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, the shortest we're going to be able to make this is we head back to Ulda, cut across center of Fanlan and over there. So, again, I think we'll uh, cut this bit out as it's going to involve quite a lot of traveling, which uh, isn't very interesting for you guys. And here we are, just approaching Camp Drybone now. So uh, the quest's just down there on our right. We'll get that in a moment, but first we want to make sure we remember to get our uh, Ephrite crystal in case we need to travel here in the future. So we'll uh, try and get the Chocobo Keep. Um, oh, he's not yet. All oh, right, it looks like he's on the upper level. Uh, we'll get that later on, as I think we've passed by him anyways when we uh, leave the town. So uh, let's go over and speak with Isambard. Hi, I'm Isambard. Yet to search for the missing folk, I take it. Minfilia said word that an adventurer fit in your description would be along. She also warned us to be wary of the Amalja. It seems we know who the culprits are at the very least. Now I bear no official title at this camp, but the people here have come to look to me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do all I can to help see the victims safely returned. Uh, what, uh, glamour Dispeller, that's just if you've uh, applied a skin to wear uh, your outfits, uh, transmog to your outfits, you use that to remove it. Uh, belt, uh, let's have a look. Is that better than I've got? Uh, no, the one I've got's already better, so we'll just take the cash for that option, I think. Let's get right to it then. Minfilia names the Amalja culprits in all this. You would do well to investigate them first. Much harm has been levied on these lands by Amalja hands. The flames burn where they might, but their light cannot stay the darkness in all places at all times. There have been brutal murders of callers at the church of St. Adama Landama, innocents wishing no more than to pay their respects to the dead. The poor souls deserve a proper burial. I would see to the deed before mongrels catch their scent, but I know not of the Amalja still linger. Would you secure their remains for me, friend? You will find them on the eastern road. Twelve willing, you may even come to learn something of what the Amalja seek in this area. Right, so uh, let's just head out of here. And before we do that, though, we'll double back on ourselves a little bit to pick up the uh, Chocobo Keep. Get that registered in case we have a... Fancy having a ride back here by Jacobo some point. Right, and uh, while we've got a little bit of downtime here, I might as well mention uh, my new series that started on Monday. It's uh, Resident Evil Zero HD Remaster, the uh, 2015 release that they released onto Steam. Going to be uh, playing through that for a while. Uh, quite a bit of a different style to Final Fantasy, obviously. So uh, if you like that sort of thing, feel free to go over there and... Uh, Give it a like, and uh, even if you're not into that sort of thing, give it a look. You never know. It might be uh, quite interesting for you. <laughs> right, so we need to uh, pick up these corpses here. And, oh, we've got uh, the ammo jar here. Might as well get those killed. Shouldn't be uh, any problem at all, seeing as uh, we massively outlevel them. <laughs> oh, and uh, the level sink makes it uh, quite an issue lately, because I believe it's for a Realm Reborn and Heaven's Ward. Uh, it messes up the the level the level sinking stuff. Uh, should have been able to get a mount at level 20, but uh, because it's tied to the level of the main story quest rather than the character level, uh, we've quite out leveled the main story. And as you can see, we're only on uh, level 17 of the main story. and just get back to uh, Isambard here. It is good to see you returned. Were you able to secure the remains of our fallen? Uh, yep, there you go. This poor soul appears to have been ravaged by an Amalja before sitting to rot for several turns of the sun. Yowch. 
Uh, with the bodies given back proper to the earth, the souls will find their way across to the other side. You have done a noble deed this day. I thank you. Now then, what of the Amalsha? Did you see any? Surely such massive monstrosities as they cannot conceal their presence, much less take their quarry unawares. Ah, so there were Amalsha remaining, after all. I feared as much. Their part in the lowborn disappearing is all but confirmed, but I sense there's more to this than meets the eye. The occasional Amalja raiding party would not account for people going missing in these kinds of numbers. The total is too great, and the questions too many. It would not surprise me in the least to learn of another hand in this. But whose? Countless travellers pass through Dryborn every day, and even if it were one among them, how would we best discover who may be implicit in these vanishings? Right, well, uh, I'm afraid the rest of that investigation will have to wait as we're closing in on the half an hour mark. So uh, we'll see you guys next time.